The La Palma eruption has finally stopped, but significant risks still exist. Here's why. The La Palma eruption was declared over on Christmas Day, but reactivation can't be ruled out and other major issues are now coming to the fore. Over 85 days of actual lava flow from the Cumbre Vieja volcano, 1,219 hectares of land was covered, and 1,576 properties destroyed by the molten rock, according to El País English. More than 78 kilometers of roads were also covered, including those that joined the west and south of the island, causing huge disruption. By the end of the eruption, lava reaching the ocean had formed two deltas, one measuring 43 hectares and in total residents had experienced more than 9,000 earthquakes. Such devastation now comes with longer-term consequences and new problems, with the Spanish government pledging more than 400 million euros or $455 million for reconstruction, according to Reuters, but doctors warning of a mental health crisis on the island. Volcanologist Alexis Schwartz, meanwhile, told Euronews that the volcano will continue to release toxic gases for a long period, and that lava already spilled out will also take a long time to cool to safe levels. Schwartz also notably said it would take years or many months until they could rule out a future reactivation of the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Optimistically, he explained that channels to the surface are currently locked by lava cooling down, so new pools of magma that try to reach the surface may find it increasingly difficult to do so. But more cautiously, he added, the Canary Islands, and especially La Palma, are very active volcanic islands, so constantly we measure the magma coming from the mantle and trying to reach the surface. For now, the Cumbre Vieja's volcano's three-month-long eruption represents the longest eruption in the history of La Palma and the most destructive in the last century in Europe, according to El País. It has provoked suggestions from a prominent politician that it should be bombed in order to redirect its lava flows. It has operated as a hive of activity for scientists hoping to get a first-hand look at the rare and valuable data spilling out of it. And a theory describing the possibility of the eruption causing a mega-tsunami has been argued over relentlessly online, with the New Zealand Herald outlining how the huge force of a landslide potentially generated by the eruption could create massive waves up to 900 meters high that could eventually hit the coast of the Americas at heights of up to 25 meters, with a tsunami reaching Florida around 9 hours after the initial collapse. As the La Palma volcano continues to erupt after two months, molten lava is traveling down toward the Atlantic Ocean at speeds of up to one meter per second through new lava tubes, according to the Canary Islands Volcanology Institute, cited by CNN, with Harvard University's Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences explaining that these tubes occur when the top surface of a lava flow cools more rapidly than the underlying lava, forming a crust that insulates the lava below, which stays hotter and flows farther as a result. According to the Canary Island Volcano Association, different types of activity at different vents are driving the lava flow. Last month, the extent of the damage prompted the president of a neighboring island to suggest bombing the volcano in order to change the direction of the flow, according to Life Science. The current La Palma eruption has a good chance of becoming the island's longest in 500 years, according to El País English. As yet another new fissure vent opened on Saturday, releasing lava which headed through previously populated areas down towards the ocean. The island's El Martín volcano erupted for 82 days in 1646, but the record was set in 1585 when the Tahuya volcano erupted for 84 days, according to Spanish newspaper El Razón. The Cumbre Vieja volcano began erupting on September 19, 2021, which means December 13 could be the day the record is broken. Volcanologists think the activity is generated by a hot spot beneath the Canary Islands, a reservoir of extremely hot magma that seeks ways to emerge, according to El País. However, the volcano discovery site explains that while seismic activity has been decreasing at the volcano over recent days, emission of sulfur dioxide remains high, albeit on a decreasing trend, implying that there is still a log of magma available to erupt. As the La Palma volcano shows no sign of stopping its eruption, there is a possibility it could cause a mega-tsunami, according to a 2001 study in the Geophysical Research Letters Journal. The study outlined how cracks below the surface of the volcano exacerbated by an eruption could cause between 150 to 500 cubic kilometers of rock to slide into the ocean at 100 meters per second. The New Zealand Herald outlines how the huge force that landslide generated could create massive waves up to 900 meters high that could eventually hit the coast of the Americas at heights of up to 25 meters, with a tsunami reaching Florida around 9 hours after the initial collapse. 
Subsequent studies have played down the risk of this kind of disaster occurring for a number of reasons, informed by new models created after the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami. It has been argued that any collapse of the ridge would not occur with the force described in the original study, with one explanation for that being that it is likely any collapse would happen in stages. Most do, however, agree that any collapse would prove devastating for the Canary Islands around La Palma at the very least. Cinder cone volcanoes occur when lava is ejected from a volcanic vent. Lava is shot into the air and pieces accumulate around the vent. This creates a circular or oval-shaped cone with a bowl-shaped crater at the top. Composite volcanoes contain a conduit system that channels magma to the surface. These volcanoes can have clusters of vents along the sides of the mountain where lava flows out. Shield volcanoes are large, broad volcanoes where lava pours out in thin layers, allowing it to travel farther down the shallow slopes. They build up slowly, with hundreds of eruptions creating many layers. Lava domes are created when small masses of thick lava can't flow far from the source, so domes pile up around the vent. The dome grows by expansion of lava from within, and the mountain forms from material spilling off the sides of the dome. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.